Alright guys, what's going on? It's Mike Matthews Outdoors channel and uh, well, the adventure channel actually and uh, today I just figured I'd uh, walk you guys around the trailers so we got a little bit done off camera and uh, we'll see if we can catch you guys up and then show you something else I bought so uh, yeah, let's check it out Alright, so if you remember, this is the trailer uh, this is the one that I started working on here uh, we've got the uprights on it and I don't remember if I told you guys we did I don't, I, yeah in the last video I talked about the axle flip that I did and uh, yeah so as you can see the new tongue is on so we got it uh, this is a two inch receiver um, got it welded in got my chain uh, eyelets welded on and then this used to be a um, flip trailer but uh, it doesn't do that anymore so now we've got to wire wheel everything and get it uh, painted um, I am going to run some uh, angle wire and braces uh, just to kind of stiffen up the front front edge of the trailer um, but like I said we're going to wire brush all this uh, this extruded metal or whatever will probably stay mesh whatever you want to call it um, probably leave that on there we're just going to put wood over the top of it so but yeah it actually turned out really good I'm really happy with that it pulls so much better than it did um, so before going down the road this thing would kind of like do this look like you were swimming going down the road but it doesn't do that anymore it's got some good tongue weight on it now and then if you guys remember so this is Mike trailer um, not finished with it yet but uh, we got his tongue welded on we got to do some finish welding um, he was ended up he used a stick welder and uh, there's a couple places we got to clean up and kind of go back over to finish uh, finish weld it. But uh, he got his tongue welded on. I think his is an inch and seven eighths. He got his uh, chain uh, chains and everything, safety chains mounted. So, and then we got the uprights up. And then this one had a little bow in it, but it, we managed to get it out. So that's kind of good. Um, it kind of had like a natural bow in it, but we ended up cutting um, this one here cutting it in half bringing it up welded it in spacing it up so he's got his, a place to mount his uh, <coughs> rooftop tent in order to be nice and nice and solid now uh, we put some crossbars in um, these this one this one and then of course this one um, those are going to be supports for the wood that he's going to put in here so yeah it's coming along pretty good as you can see, his trailer sits up nice and tall. So, get back here so you can see it a little better. But, uh, yeah. There we go. So, got him, got him pretty well usable. Um, he's got to do his lights. I'm changing up the lights on my trailer. I'm going to run some of those thin uh, sequential LEDs on this one down here at the bottom. Um, then I got to start looking at. Uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a flip out table on this thing to put our grill on um, I got to finish boxing in the uprights on this one so we're gonna go from this corner here to that corner just so it uh, strengthens it up makes it uh, a little more usable then I'm gonna put a cross bracket up here so we can run an awning and uh, a couple other things but yeah it's coming along pretty good but uh, I guess on another note real quick before I drop the camera um, I'll show you what I bought so I'm sure you guys, if you follow the channel, you know that we have a school bus. And uh, said school bus needed some work. So, yeah, I needed some parts, right? So this is said school bus. As you can see, some of the windows are taped up. Um, those are the windows that are getting deleted behind me. Um, I've already pulled all these windows here out, uh, resealed them, uh, caulked them in with some uh, good uh, seam sealer and uh, silicone caulking. Uh, some good weatherproof stuff so i'm hoping that's gonna do it we just had a bunch of rain come through here um and when i say a bunch of rain i mean like the ponds and stuff were up over their banks um so we're hoping that it stayed uh, pretty pretty tight in there and we're gonna go here and check and just see if it's uh there's any water intrusion real quick all right Ooh, my hands just need grease so there is a little water down here it looks like but that's that's because this is all just kind of plastic taped right now. But we get up in here. Let's see what we got. This thing's dirty. I haven't had a chance to clean it out. Um, 
there is some water down here and I think that's because of the windshield so the windshield on this thing is just a piece of plexiglass right now so um, but yeah so let's get over here and let's see what we got so I got some uh, sheet metal uh, that's gonna be for the window deletes back here but as of right now there's that patch place we got a patch down here we're gonna cut this out weld some in but I don't see any place where water's got in um, it's all nice and dry back here that's some glue in the corner down there where they had that rubber flooring glued down so I'm really happy to see that it's not really any water in here now there is it's wet down here but that's because there's no windows so we got these windows out and uh, working on finishing rebuilding them that window frame there there's a piece of window that I've actually got to get a piece of glass cut for because if you look that window and that window if you let me get further back but you can see they're they're different sizes this window is bigger than this window so and according to what I read it's actually kind of rare um, you don't see that big back window on these as much anyway all in all I'm pretty happy that there's not a whole lot of water in here but anyway I'll walk over here and show you what I bought so yeah guys when I said it rained a lot like it's it's still it's a it's a mud hole out here anyway let's get back over here real quick and the sun's gonna mess with it a little bit but there it is guys and I'll and all of its school bus glory. So yeah, I bought another school bus. But let's uh, let's go in here and check it out real quick. All right, guys. So what you're looking at here is a this is a 2000 model Thomas International school bus. And uh, yeah, as you can see, no motor or transmission in this thing. So, um, what do you do with a bus that hasn't doesn't have a motor or transmission? Let me show you. Yeah. You put all your junk in it. So this bus, uh, having the parts that I needed for the other bus, this one turned into, uh, yeah, the shop bus. So uh, I guess I can show you. So right now it's kind of cluttered up because I've been moving, had to move stuff out of my other shed to put in this one. This has got way more room in it than my, little shed had my little garden shed so but uh something we like to do on the side is play with rc cars so um i built a little bench back here uh hung a little shelf up eventually this is just going to be like the hangout spot so we're going to build an awning off of it put a little patio and stuff out here our friends and stuff we like to we like to cook out and hang out there's yeah, we like to have bonfires and stuff so anyway this is all just going to be one big storage building slash little tinker shop that i'm building and then um i was actually coming out here to see if there was any water that got in this thing from all that rain we got but i don't see any looks like it's sealed up pretty good this bus actually has a um higher roof line than the other bus so that the windows are actually taller than the other buses so unfortunately couldn't swap the windows but that's okay no biggie but anyway guys that's pretty much it on this thing um the main thing that i needed off this bus and i'll show you real quick one thing it had that the other person had that somebody took out was this big old rear view mirror so i thought that was kind of cool and so yeah so i'm gonna take that i'm gonna put that in the other bus but if i get this thing to flip up here that not been used in a while yep you guessed it it has the windshields in it that i need for the other bus so with that being said um i'm gonna pull these windshields out um save the wiper arms if i can and um I was actually going to weld some sheet metal over the front of this. Because like I said, this is going to be a shop bus kind of thing. Storage shed. So, I'm just trying to get all this crap out of here. Trying to get everything organized. But yeah, guys. 
What do you think? I think it turned out pretty good as far as being something to use. And I have a really good deal on this thing. I think it's 500 bucks for the bus. So, I mean, you can't buy a shed for that. And like I said, this thing is, you know, these buses are built tough. So, uh, you can't go wrong there, right? All right. So, let's get out of this thing. Ugh. So, um, I will be doing something with these doors to try to, um, along with that bus over there. So, this one actually has the glass that that one doesn't have in the doors. So, eventually, we're going to be pulling a few parts. And the other thing, too, this bus still has the fuel tank. So, I have uh, tossed around the idea of taking the fuel tank out of this one and uh, putting it in the other bus to double my capacity. So that might be another project I can do too. Anyway guys, I won't bore you with walking around with a camera and uh, hope you guys uh, stick around for some upcoming content. Uh, we hope this weekend is supposed to be 75 and sunny. Um, so we're definitely gonna try to do a camping trip this weekend. Uh, hopefully it works out that way. Um, got Easter coming up. So if it works out where we can get some, some camping trips in along with some of these projects we got going on, that'd be cool. But anyway, appreciate you guys subscribing, checking out the channel, um, share it, all that good stuff. And uh, yeah, until the next one, catch you guys outside. Take care.